Hi guys, welcome to Closer's Mathematics class. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. Alright, so today we are starting a new series on circle theorem. So the first theorem states that angle at the center of a circle is twice angle at the circumference. Angle at the center, B, is twice angle at the what? At the circumference. This is the circumference. So if the angle here is 2, the angle at the circumference is twice. So that means this is what? 2, E. So the angle at the what? At the center, which is what? This are B, is twice the angle at the what? At the circumference. So that means the angle at the circumference, A, will be what? Will be B divided by what? By 2. I get what I'm saying now. So if we want to check to our example here, so we have an example here. The angle at the circumference is 44, and we want to look for the angle at the center. Don't forget, I said here that the angle at the, what? At the circumference, x, is twice the angle at the, what? At the circumference, right? So that will be 2 multiplied by what? By 44, all right? And our x will be what? 88 degree. Do we get that now? So this will be the what the value of our x. So don't forget the theorem. It is what angle at the center of a circle is twice, twice angle at the what at the circumference. So these are the three major words. The center is twice the angle at the what at the circumference. And we see our example here. So let's say I have another example. Let's see this is a circle, and I have something like this. Let's say I have something like this and like this. And let's say this place is. Let's say this place is 32 degree and this place is E. All right. Don't forget that this is the word, the angle at the word at the center. Angle at the center, 32, is twice angle at the circumference, 2E. I get what I'm saying now. So that would be what? The divide side by what? 2, 2, and our A will give us what? 16. And if this place is 16, this place will be what? 32. Do we get that now? So that is the theorem for first one. So the second theorem now, it says angle in a semicircle contains the word a 90 degree. A semicircle is when you divide a circle into two. So the line that passes from the center, when you divide it into two, then it is a what? It is a semicircle. So if we have this circle here, you can see that this line divides it into what? Into two. All right? So, and the result of it contains the what? A 90 degree. That means my A plus B plus 90 degree must give me what? 180. I got what I'm saying now because the sum of angle the what? In a triangle is 180. And the term says that what? The angle in the semicircle contains the what? A 90 degree. So, it is not until they give me 90 degree. I myself must know that a 90 degree is what is in there. So let's see an example here. So we have this example. We, want to, we have um, fourth angle. The, the angle here is 44 degree. And I'm to look for my what? My angle B. So I can do it in two ways. Is it that I say 44 degree plus B equals, I mean, plus B plus what? Plus 90 equals what? 180. All right? And that will be what? 90 plus 44 will give me what? 134 plus B equals what? 180. All right? Then B will give me what? 180 minus what? 134. All right? And then my B will be what? This will give me 6. And then this will give me... This will be giving me what? 4. So that will be what? 46 degree. So the other way around they can do it is by saying what? 44 plus B equals what? 90 degree. Then your B will be what? 90 degree minus what? 44. Alright? Then your B will be what? 46 degree. So these are the first and the second theorem that we're talking about for today. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like and always share this video. Thank you very much. God bless you.